Well, it happened. I can't believe it. This was something I'm not sure should have happened, but it did. And today I get to tell you about it. Let me just tell you, I, I, you feel like you're building this up and I'm gonna like drop this big bomb on you of like, oh, this builder did a terrible thing and I wanna tell you all about it so that you should run away and avoid them and like not ever buy anything new because new is not quality and it's terrible and we shouldn't buy anything that wasn't built before, you know, the civil war or whatever. That's not the thing today. Uh, today is actually something really cool that happened with a builder and I'll get to share it and I wanna talk about it because I think honestly, a lot a lot of times, you know, everybody is quick to talk about massive negativity just in the internet of the world today. We always want to be negative. Few people want to actually talk about positive experiences. So today I get to actually talk about a positive experience. It was really cool um, that happened with a builder that I want to share with you. And hopefully, it, you know, it's, it's a helpful uh, anecdote and a, and a good story that, you know, maybe helps you decide one way or the other when it comes to building a new home. And of course, at the end, I will share which builder that it is we're talking about. So we haven't met before. My name is Zach. My team and I, most of the time, we sell new construction real estate. That's what we help a lot of people with, whether it's buying um, or it's building, you know, with the builder, whatever, kind of, we do a lot of that. But part of helping do that is occasionally people are upgrading their home and in their upgrade, they have to list so we help them sell before they can buy you know things the way it goes so the story today comes actually out of a home that is a resale home but it is a like three and a half year old resale home so it's not a super old home some clients of ours bought this home you know right in the midst of covid and all the craziness uh, and now they've decided hey we're moving we're going to do something different cool build another house awesome get their home on the market, get it listed. He said, it's three-year-old home, get everything good to go. We get an offer in, the buyers do their inspection. We get the inspection report back and there's a couple of things, and there's always a couple of things that are found on inspection reports, always. A couple of things that are found that like, they were honestly, they were kind of head scratchers. It's like, huh, like that should not be the case in a new construction home. Like just a couple of random structural things, nothing super, super major, but a couple of random structural things. It's like, oh, that's kind of weird that that happened. And truthfully, yes, they probably should have been caught before my clients ever moved into this home, but they weren't there. Maybe their inspector missed it. Uh, I didn't help them buy, so I, I can't take accountability on that side. Uh, maybe their inspector missed it. Maybe the, you know, the builder missed it. Well, I mean, it was COVID, so it was kind of a weird time anyway. So yes, these should have been caught on the front end, but here's what I will say. People make mistakes. Like, and I've said this a thousand times, just because it's new doesn't mean it's perfect. New means new. New does not mean perfect. So sometimes things do get missed or sometimes things are wrong. Does that mean that all new builds are terrible and you should avoid them? And no, that does not mean that. There are tons of quality builders here in DFW whose products we believe in, who build a really great home and who stand behind their product. Um, I always try and tell people, hey, it's not when something goes wrong. Or it's not if something goes wrong, it's when something goes wrong. And when it goes wrong, we wanna see what they do to make it right. So we get this report back from our potential buyers and they say, hey, these things, can we, you know, can we negotiate for these things to be fixed? Yeah, we can definitely have a conversation about that. So I'm talking to my sellers and I say, look guys, hey, what if we, like, there's a chance we could get, this should be covered um, by your warranty. It might be outside of the, the time frame because again, like we've talked about, most builders have like a one, two, 10 on their warranty. So one on cosmetic more or less, two on systems and 10 on structure. Uh, and these kind of fall in that weird in-between space of like, it might be structure, but it might be like cosmetic. And so it's kind of a gray area to be honest. So I was like, hey, let's just reach out and see, um, you know, send over the report and see what they can do, if they can help us with this uh, and get this cleared away. And here's what I have to tell you. I send it over and immediately we get a response that they're like, absolutely, uh, we'll get you in contact with the construction superintendent. They're gonna work with the, all the trade to get these things, these couple minor things uh, taken care of, no charge to you guys. We want to make sure this is right so that y'all can get the sale done. Uh, we want to and get the new homeowners in. And here's what I think about that: when builders are willing to stand behind their product and and go and do the right thing uh, and, and help and take care of people, uh, in my mind that that speaks volumes, right? I said, should it have been caught on the front end? Yes. Was it? No. And again, those things happen. People make mistakes, like no home, regardless of purchase price is ever actually truly gonna be perfect. Whether it's like I said, whether it's brand new, whether it's 30 years old, there's never gonna be uh, the perfect house because there's 
was one perfect person and he's not building houses anymore. So yeah, I appreciate that they're, they're taking care of it. Right. And so I think a lot of times in the world of the internet, you know, people only want to talk about the bad things. People only want to talk about the negative and you hear all these worse reviews like this builder, they did this and they, are there crappy builders out there? Yes. Um, are there ones that we should avoid? Yes. Are there ones that at the end of the day that I trust their product, I trust their integrity, I trust their customer service? Yes. And this is one of them. So this is shorter video today, but trying to just give kudos where kudos are due and say, hey, thanks for you know taking care of clients. Thanks for taking care of people. Thanks for helping do the right thing. Um, so one, I think it matters who you choose to work with, who you choose to build with, like check their reputation, check their integrity, uh, check if they stand behind their work. And two, I think it definitely matters uh, the people that you choose to like build your relationships with, because part of the reason this works is because I sell a lot of their homes. Um, and so can talk about it, can like, I have the relationship with their sales team, with their construction team, can reach out and say, hey, look, we've got this issue. Can you help us fix it? And it's like, yeah, no problem. We can take care of that. So I've been delaying long enough. Uh, I've given you kind of the backstory. Now I'm going to give you the builder. Uh, if you've been around my channel, this is a builder we've talked about extensively before we've covered their product. Uh, and honestly, this is the builder that we personally built with three and a half years ago as well. Uh, actually, four years now. Yeah, four years, basically. Wow. Builder, pace setter. Um, again, choosing to do the right thing. So I appreciate it. Appreciate that their uh, management, appreciate their sales team working with us and making sure all this gets done. And like I said, this is more about just a kudos to them. Like way to go. Good job guys. Thank you for taking care of people doing the right thing in, in a, in a world where oftentimes many people don't. Uh, so I like to share those things. We want to share the good, the bad and everything in between, uh, to be transparent, to give you honesty, uh, and, and to hopefully, you know, for you as your, as a buyer, if you're looking at this and you're like, Hey, I, you know, what, I'm considering building, I'm considering buying off a builder's inventory. Let's just talk about, you know, who's, whose work we believe in. And uh, because we will never promote somebody's product that we personally don't believe in. At least I won't. Um, so kudos to them. Thank y'all for that. I love giving positive PR where I can and, and appreciate the integrity of standing behind your product and making things right uh, and going the extra mile to do that. So thank y'all for that. And if you're watching this and you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you'd love some help getting into a new home or building a new home, there are some really, really great builder incentives right now on both quick move in inventories and build jobs to, to push you out long term. So if we can help with that in any way, shape, form, uh, please let us know. Contact information as always is right at the bottom of this video. I would love to help you help answer any questions and guide you through that process if we can. So thanks for hanging out. Like I said, positive news today, not a negative thing, positive. It's good. And we love that. So appreciate your time. We will see y'all in our next video.